Okay, guys. I want us to all pay attention to the caption of this video. What the video is implying. I had to watch it for so many times to actually understand what the message is trying to send. Sisters, <laughs> I mean, if you want to spread something, really ask yourself, if you want to spread something about this thing, spread something as the prophet peace be upon him said we should convey from him. Should it be something like this? Like this? Is this the message that we should spread to others? Sometimes I feel like we are the one who do ourselves more uh, harm than good. No one has stated categorically that makeup is haram. But if you want to spread something good, that you will get the benefits. That's what this thing is all about. You express something good, you get the benefit. Should it be something like this? About makeup. Come on, guys. No one is saying makeup is haram, but at the same time, you should know that under certain circumstances, makeup is haram. Because as women, we are not supposed to expose our beauty. We are not supposed to expose our adornment. It's for a particular group of people. When you do the makeup and you leave your house, do you ask yourself where you are going? Are those people the ones who are supposed to see your you beauty? Ask yourself this. Islam is not saying don't look good, don't look beautiful. Some people prefer to be natural. They prefer to be good in how they I mean how they are if you have decided to do makeup should you advertise some people are ignorant about a lot of things in the gym so if you are advertising about makeup telling people it is not haram in Islam how many shapes do we see they will go and stop stand on the platform and they will start preaching about doing makeup who does that when there are a lot of more important and pressing issues out there that people don't know about it? A lot of people don't know more about Islam. Instead of spreading something good that you will benefit from it, the person receiving the message will benefit from it, you decide to talk about makeup not being haram in Islam. Come on, guys. Who will say eating is haram in Islam? No. But if you eat to certain standard, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said it's haram. You eat, you can't breathe, you, can't, you are so tired of yourself. It's haram. That is the same food, isn't it? So you can't just preach out there to other young ladies that makeup is not haram in Islam. You could have said something different, beautiful. There are a whole lot of things people don't know. As women, when we pray, you are not supposed to reveal your feet. You could have told others, try and wear socks when you are praying or wear something that will cover you fully up when you are praying. These are messages that people will benefit, my dear sisters. We should be careful of this social media. This is all the message I want to cut across. We should be careful about the things that we have I have such a husband. Sometimes if I decide to post something, the first question he will ask me is, what is the benefit of this? What are you going to get if you post this? What benefits are others going to get when you post this? These are the questions he asks me. Because sometimes if we have too much freedom, we do things that we don't even realize we are not supposed to do. Sometimes you feel like, oh, let me do what I want to do. But please, guys, let's always think about the benefits of what we are doing. Assalamu alaikum.